welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video as you can tell by the title and this massive pile of boxes behind me we have probably the biggest ever Zara and Zara home order I have ever made seen as though we have completed the upstairs renovations we have a lot of dressing to do styling of the house so I have picked up quite a few bits from Zara home so I'm going to show you them first and then I will show you and try on all of the clothing items that I have picked up from Zara as well. So if you haven't already, make sure you are set with your cozy drink of choice. I've gone for a cinnamon bun latte with some pumpkin spice syrup in my Hello Pumpkin mug, which is just the cutest thing from Next. It was only six pounds, mega bug. And make sure you have lit the candles, you've got cozy, your feet are up, and I hope you guys enjoy. When I get around to sharing with you the fashion items, I have also picked up some bits from Abercrombie & Fitch recently that I was just super impressed with. So I thought I would include those at the end of this video. They're running a sale as well, so I got some good finds. And anything that you do see in this video, I will leave linked in the description box below if you do want to shop any of them yourself. So the first item that I wanted to share with you is actually this chair that I'm sitting on. So it is in fact an outdoor chair. I thought this would be perfect for in my filming room because it's versatile, I can fold it up and can put it away if needs be. And it's this gorgeous linen-y canvas fabric. This is the bag that it came in. So this is the actual texture and material of the chair itself and then the legs are like a black metallic finish i do believe they had it in a kind of wooden finish leg with a cream canvas seat but the only one that was in stock online when i was shopping was this one and to be honest with you with the black accents that i've got throughout my home i thought this one worked anyway with this being part of the outdoor collection i did think worst case i decide in the future i buy a really nice a boucle chair or something that is more of a permanent fixture within this room then this would be great for like taking in the car watching tom's cricket you always need like an outdoor chair in the back of your car but to be honest with you right now it's far too nice for that i even put a little picture on my instagram of a little filming corner in this room and i'm just really really happy with it i love the kind of look of it i think it looks quite cool and this is my first purchase I have to say it was my most expensive purchase at 89.99 it's kind of pricey for what essentially is an outdoor chair that's why i think it's far too nice to have it as an outdoor chair and hence i've chosen to put it in my filming room but i am investing in good key quality pieces and i don't want to faff with the rooms i don't want too much clutter i'm choosing key items that fit in a space and if i have any leftover homeware items that don't have a home and that aren't going to go downstairs once downstairs renovated then i'm just going to end up donating so um yeah speaking of key pieces i'm investing into i have picked up this at 79.99 it's a huge i mean it's still boxed up but i'll show you an image on screen from the website this is a mirror that is going to be going in my bathroom which is the main bath this is one of those kind of irregular shaped mirrors which i love i think it just adds a bit of dimension a bit of texture to the room and what is a fairly basic but also fairly small main bath that is quite light i thought that is going to add a real pop of texture with the black metal and the irregularity in the shape i just think it's going to look really nice and so 79.99 next up this one actually came in its own little parcel it always baffles me when they come in separate parcels they must come from different stores maybe i don't know but this is something that was actually recommended to me and it is one of their reed diffusers i believe they do it in a candle as well and it's one of their new scents this one is morning coffee and i think it's a dupe for the maison marigella perfume or scent of is it called coffee break i think it's called now their scents by the fireplace in particular is my absolute all-time favorite scent for autumn and winter the imagery of the packaging and everything looks very similar i definitely think zara are the kings or queens of duping high-end brands they've got a dupe of the baccarat rouge at the minute as well which i'm trying to get my hands on but it seems to be sold out online all the time anyway this is what the reed diffuser looks like it's just a plain and simple uh bottle with the fluid being like an amber color and then the reeds are black and they're really thick like you only get four reeds in there but they're super thick 
and that reed diffuser is $19.99. Next up, I picked up some wardrobe essentials, storage essentials in particular, and I picked up these from this new range that they seem to have on their website of different kind of walk-in wardrobe storage solutions, all in this linen, again, linen canvasy kind of fabric and texture. I picked up two items from the range, but they had all sorts. They had loads of different storage boxes and everything. I picked up this fabric bag. It's a pack of two. I thought these would be good for storing if you've got some nice silky PJs that you wanna keep separate from your Primani PJs, or if you've got some shoes, they look like they'd be good little shoe storage bags, good travel pouches, just really practical item. And they were $15.99 for a pack of two. Then at $19.99, we have these, which are actually suit cover carrier type. Uh, they call them a garment cover. So they are full length at 100 centimeters by 57.5. And again, the fabric of these is so nice that if you have an open wardrobe solution type setup. I think these would look really nice for covering up, I mean, some people are gonna hate me for saying this, covering up your maybe more colorful dresses so that your wardrobe looks aesthetically pleasing, you've got all the neutrals on show, but also if you've just got any nice expensive garments, dresses, coats, that you want to have them covered up, not collecting dust, then they are lovely. And yeah, two pack for 19.99. 10 are each, not too bad. I mean, they are really nice. They do feel lovely. Next up, I bought this spray. It's in the Basilicum scent. I've had something from this scent before from this range and it is lovely. And if you've been following along on our renovation journey, you know that Tom's floor, the loft space that has been converted has accents of a dark forest green, including the bathroom tiles. So when I saw this and having tried the scent before and loved it, I thought I would pick it up for in his room. Now, it's kind of coming up quite dark on camera, but it is a real nice foresty green. I don't know if you can see that. It's got notes of basil, eucalyptus, and mint. It's nice and refreshing and herby, and it's a really nice glass bottle as well. I love the labeling and the branding. So it's definitely one that is gonna look good on display. And also I find that if they look good and they're on display, you tend to use them more often. And that was $19.99. I absolutely love that Zara do uh, pet products. And as soon as I saw these two, I was like, yep, they're going to show you my basket for my little golden retriever, Barney. So I picked up this one first of all. This is quite a generous size as well, this bottle. It's $15.99 and it's in the scent Absolute Linen, which is a classic Zara scent. And it's essentially just a deodorizing dog spray. So keeping them fresh in between grooming. I do actually take Barney to be professionally groomed. I think as he gets bigger, and his double coat comes through, it's gonna be quite hard to properly groom him. So I thought getting him used to professional groomers from the get-go, so he goes every four to six weeks. But in between that, I thought this would be good for just spritzing on his coat, keeping him fresh if ever I do need to hose him down if he's been swimming in muddy puddles, which is pretty much every day at the moment in this season. And then I also picked up for him, I'm undecided whether or not to save this as a little Christmas toy for him. We'll just give it to him because I've already got some Christmassy themed toys for him. But it is one of these rope toys. Now these are some of his favorite because he loves a good tug of war. This is $11.99 and it fits with my vibe, the whole neutral beige aesthetic. So I'm all about a toy, apart from on Christmas obviously. I'm all about a toy that is gonna look good in the home and one that he's also gonna actually play with and also not destroy. Moving on to the next thing now. This is quite a big item. And again, I've got this for Tom's room. He's gonna have a console table as soon as you walk into his, um, like through the door into the loft. There's gonna be like a console table. I'm not sure which one we're gonna go for, whether it's with drawers or not yet. But on top of that, I thought it'd be really handy to have some kind of bowl for him to just dump his keys, his wallet, um, any kind of coins, just stuff that men just have, you know? So um, it's kind of contained and organized within this. So again, that kind of irregular, 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 Oh my goodness, irregularity in shape and design. I think it looks super high-end and designer 
inspired almost. I love how it just sits like this in a curved shape. And also that was only $19.99. It's made from aluminium. So pretty hard wearing and I think a pretty good price point too. Next up at $9.99, I picked up this antique gold door hook. Now I'm tempted to almost get a couple more of these. And I think this one in particular is going to go on the back of my bathroom door because I don't have a towel radiator in my bathroom I have the underfloor heating I thought this would work really really nicely on the back of the door to hang my towels dressing gown I'm going to keep it fairly simple in there so maybe just like a simple white towel my bath towel and it's only really me using that bathroom so I can just use the same towel for um hands and face on the other side and then have my big towel hung up on this but how nice is that color i do feel like an antique gold and an antique brass is far better than a real yellowy gold and we've kind of gone for that finish on our sockets it's a bit shadowed there with the ring light but that antique brass finish is definitely something that i look for as opposed to that yellow gold and that was only 9.99 i think that was a pretty good price point yet again hence why I may be picking up more of those. Okay, next up I have bought this. Now I've already opened it and looked at it and I think I'm gonna send this one back. I do love it. It's a metal stand, like a book stand, but it is quite small and I tested it out by trying to balance a smallish recipe book, which I thought would look quite nice in the kitchen, but it just tippled over, so. I just don't think I'm going to end up finding a book that I'm actually going to use it for because my intention with something like this is to have it out in the kitchen whilst you're cooking or following a recipe or even just to have a nice cookery book on display but it is a little bit too small I think so if this was bigger I'd be keeping it because it's not it's going back but again the main reason why I love this as well is just that antique brass kind of colour just looks so expensive so luxe just a shame about the size really on that one it was only 7.99 though so that is a good price point and it does have the dimensions on the website so my fault for not checking the next item that i picked up is going to be for tom stocking i think i mean he doesn't watch these videos and i'm pretty sure he won't watch this but just in case tom look away now um i got these which i saw now he is really into his fashion in terms of like classic menswear tailored suits reese that kind of style that he loves and he was after some wooden shoe shapers shoe trees shoe trees they're called i need to brush up on my men's fashion knowledge but these are cedar shoe trees to maintain your shoes natural shape and reduce creases the woods natural properties absorb moisture and odors while releasing a fresh aroma i did not know that so the fact that it does all of that amazing so these are 25.99 for the pair so not cheap but one of those things that if i get him one pair then maybe if he likes them he can go and buy the rest of them himself i say his stocking it's like a nice christmas present it's not even gonna go in his stocking but it, i love the fact that it comes in this canvas bag i do think zara can be really good when it comes to like the extra detail and packaging things up this is what they actually look like so they are that kind of what well, cedar wood finish this one is in 43 to 44 the sizing is on the bottom there 10 to 11 and it also has etched in there zara home so i just think they look lovely again they've got the gold detailing and i just think they look really nice i did get one other item from zara home but it is fashion it is clothing so i feel like it leads us nicely into the clothing section part for this video but it's a um it's a matching set but you do buy them as separate so i picked up the t-shirt in a large and it's this kind of just bo boxy oversized tee this is very much just loungewear around the house and then the bottoms i got in a medium they're quite a thin lightweight cotton so they're going to be super comfortable i definitely wouldn't wear these out they're like a pajama bottom i'm a bit unsure on this color it's like a mustard they describe them as high quality cotton trousers at 19.99 and the high quality cotton t-shirt at 19.99 as well so 40 pounds for the sets i'm thinking that's quite a lot if i'm a bit unsure on the color what do you guys think about the color i just thought it'd be a bit more of like a beige but it is quite mustard isn't it i feel like this would look better on a brunette not a pale blonde that 
it might wash me out a little bit. The first thing that I got in a medium is this oversized kind of jacket. It is $29.99 and it's got this really kind of almost military feel to it with that pocket detailing and that kind of added badge there on the pocket. So it is that kind of color as well with the kind of army green khaki color with there being like a panel along, along the bottom and a slit along the sides. So this I would wear just on its own with like leggings done up or I would wear it open as more of a shaka. I think that's how I would tend to opt to wear it a little bit more. I also picked up a good basic staple of this oversized poplin shirt. Now I will need to see the length of this because I was kind of hoping to wear it as more of a dress with a jumper, but it's not gonna be long enough for that, I don't think. In a large, at 19.99, good layering piece to smarten up an outfit. This was exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to a knit vest to maybe layer up with a shirt. I think they styled this without a shirt or without any other top on underneath online. So I got this in a large, again, just to have that longer length. 27.99 this one was. And it is super thick and cozy. This is the perfect autumn winter jumper vest. I mean, look at that thick roll neck. It's a roll neck without it being tight and uncomfortable. This looks like it's gonna be so cozy. They do have matching trousers to this, which they styled it up with online as more of a matching set. But I think because it is such a thick knit, I think that would kind of add a bit of weight to my legs, which are already my biggest half my body so I feel like they wouldn't be that flattering I feel like for me a tighter ribbed legging like my ones that I've got from all neutrals they'd look really nice with that okay moving on to yet another autumnal color this beautiful chocolate brown it's so rich and warm and cozy I love it in a large at 11.99 I got this one I think this is a part of a matching set as well actually it's a bit thinner than I thought it was going to be this sweatshirt so I feel like this would be like lounging around the house when you've got the heating on as the matching set with the joggers so it is a pair of drawstring joggers that I picked up in a medium again the same kind of thickness to these so make quite a lightweight comfortable set to wear around the house I think pockets cuffed at the bottom I love a good thick waistband like this and the top was only 11.99 and the bottoms were only 19.99 so a fairly affordable set speaking of matching sets I also picked up this one which comes with a high roll neck it is quite stretchy though so I feel like it's not gonna be too restrictive you know sometimes when you get a roll neck and you can't even get it over your head I mean this does feel fairly stretchy so fingers crossed and it's a really really soft brushed kind of cotton feel to it so the top i got in a medium at 17.99 i love this color as well by the way it's kind of like a subtle marl in in a really nice oatmeal stone color and then the bottoms i picked up again in a medium at 19.99 really affordable and nice and wide legs so I feel like this is the sort of pant that I would wear even just with a basic white tee tucked in super super soft and they do have a rib to it very very subtle rib but a rib nonetheless can you see there the texture they have some really good price points for basics this one is an oversized hoodie I picked it up in a medium it's only 19.99 it feels great quality and it is probably not as oversized as I thought it was going to be actually so I'm glad I went for a medium this is what I was saying about Zara sending things in nice little cotton bags I just think they are really handy to store all your accessories in so I picked up this belt it is thick on the back and then it's a double strap on the front so I just thought this would look really good like I said with blazers on top of blazers or coats or dresses just to have a belt that kind of cinches in the waist okay this is it kind of worn over my jumper and this is in the size 30 I picked this one up in so yeah 25.99 that one is then I also picked up these shoes they were 29.99 and they are a plain black velvet court shoe so I felt like I was in need of some stilettos but like not super super high stilettos i do have some nice jimmy chews in black patent but they're the highest height and honestly they're just so hard to walk in they're the sort of shoe that you literally just go to dinner in whereas this is a slightly more manageable height i feel 
and the velvet adds that kind of festive touch that you could wear this in winter. $29.99, I thought was a really good price point for a good court shoe. And then Zara have done a new range of winter collection fragrances for him. This one has notes of bergamot, tangerine, pepper eucalyptus, lavender cypress, orange blossom, cedarwood, amber, and patchouli. And then as I mentioned, I did pop into Abercrombie recently. I picked up a couple of other things which I've already previously shown in a video, and then I went online and ordered some sale bits so I thought I would share with you. The quality of Abercrombie, especially for basics, is second to none. It is so good, so soft, so thick and cozy. Kind of pricey, some of the items, but if you pick up sale items like I did, you can grab yourself a bargain. And honestly, if you just want to treat yourself to some new good wardrobe staples, Abercrombie. Definitely an underrated brand. I love it. So this first one is called the Men's Oversized Essential Popover Hoodie in a cream in an extra large. It was £31. And it is, as it states, there's no drawstring or anything, which I quite like. I feel like this would be a good layering piece in winter under a blazer to smarten up an outfit or a nice like wool tailored coat. I always love layering hoodies under things like that. An Abercrombie one at 30 quid as well, so nice. I did also pick up this one. This one is from the women's section. This one's in a large and this one was 33 pounds. It is more of a camel-y kind of beige. It's just a slightly warmer tone to this one. This one feels even softer. It almost doesn't feel quite as thick. It feels a bit more of a relaxed fit, super, super cozy and comfy. Um, but oh my God, I just love it. And I love the fact that sizing up just allows me to wear them, them with leggings. And if I show you the bottom, the back goes longer. That's one thing that I love, that kind of a detail. I really appreciate in a longer top, like I said, so I can wear them with leggings, very relaxed everyday outfit. And speaking of leggings, I did pick up a couple of pairs of leggings as well. This gorgeous, again, rich chocolatey brown color. This one is definitely a lounge pair of leggings because it's super, super soft. Again, that kind of brushed cotton. They are ribbed as well, but they're fairly thin, hence why I would just tend to wear these relaxed, around the house or with an oversized hoodie dog walking. So I got them in a medium and they were only 20 pounds. Again at 20 pounds I also picked up the tan color. So if you can compare the two, chocolate and the tan, look at those for autumnal colors, including what I'm wearing. Creams, browns, love it. I feel like with how stretchy they are, I probably could have done with a small, but they're only gonna be for relaxed, comfy around the house anyway. So this is a slightly different set of leggings. They're called lounge leggings. Again, only 20 pounds in the sale. Dark brown, these ones are classed as. In a medium, I picked these ones up. These ones feel far more like my Lululemon leggings. If these are a dupe for my Lululemon leggings, then I've grabbed myself an absolute bargain because those ones are 88 pounds and I mean, they are the best pair of leggings I own. I find myself missing them when they're in the wash. So I feel like I need to get a couple more pairs. And I love this color. I'd say it's like a mushroom kind of brownie gray. Love them. Would look nice with this. I feel like this kind of tonal look. So this is a, another hoodie. I definitely, I've got loads of sweatshirts, but I wanted more hoodies um, to layer up for autumn and winter. I feel like hoodies just feel a bit warmer than a sweatshirt. And this one has on the front there, a little kind of Abercrombie sign. I got this one in a large. And this one, again, from the men's section, was only 28 pounds. Next up, I got these two items to kind of style together, but equally wear as separates. Firstly, this pair of joggers, which I picked up in a medium. They're a nice thick waistband, super soft again. Honestly, the quality, even if you don't order online, go in store and feel the quality and you suck it in straight away. These are called the Sunday Sweats at 29 pounds and they have a little cuff at the bottom. And then I also picked up this bodysuit to wear with it, but again, wear as dress it up, maybe with some leather pants and a blazer. And it is a kind of corseted bodysuit. I saw this in store recently, asked for a medium, they didn't have any in, so left it. And it was priced at 39 pounds, but then they went into the sale at 31 pounds, so a little bit of a saving. So I decided to pick it up whilst 
it was in the sale and it was online in a medium. And then this final item I already own in white and I did see it in store and pick it up in the sale. I think it was about £30, £31 um, in the sale and I was very tempted in store to get the grey as well and I didn't and I regretted it. Then when I went online I saw that they had this beautiful kind of sage green colour so I thought you know what I'm going to get this. So who knows? I like it that much I might end up getting the grey as well at £30 because it is just a good staple that I wear on an everyday basis and the white one does tend to get dirty quick because obviously wearing white you tend to get makeup marks pretty quickly what well, I do anyway and uh, full price this one was £55 so you do get a bit of a saving it's a nice relaxed fit has a slight slit there so that just sits the longer bit at the back covers your bum with leggings that's how I wear this just with my lululemon leggings and I actually have a pair of lululemon leggings in this colour so I feel like that would make a cute outfit and just comfy but yeah premium at the same time. I mean seeing as though I live and work from home every day and I live in outfits like that why not splurge a little and get some nice good quality ones that will stand the test of time. So that is everything that I have picked up recently from Zara and Abercrombie and Fitch as well. Let me know which are some of your favourites. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Do subscribe for more and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload. I'll also leave my Instagram accounts, my fashion, if you want to see any of these items styled up over there. Might even do a bit of a reel, might even do a TikTok. I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Do have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.